Praise the Lord, Saint. Praise the Lord, everybody. How's everybody doing? We are coming to you live again this glorious Sunday morning. Thanking God for all His goodness, His mercy, His kindness, and His grace. This July 19, 2020. Here with my lovely wife of 33 years, Amen. Grace Annette Ladd. <laughs> <laughs> I love that lad part. I love it. And uh, just thank you for your prayers and your support. And such a pleasure to be back with you again uh, in a teaching capacity. Uh, had some testimonies and God, through your prayers and His faithfulness, we were able to overcome. So, my wife is going to lead in prayer this morning. I think we're going to get back to our Ephesians study. I want to talk about one thing uh, this thing about being reconciled uh, before we start the Ephesians study, but let's have her pray first and we'll see how the Lord leads from there. So, uh, with you, with that, honey, you go ahead and take us, to, take us to prayer. Gracious Father, Lord, we love you. We thank you. God, we just count it a privilege, God, to be called your sons and daughters. We thank you for forgiveness of sins, God. We thank you for the shed blood on the cross, God, through Jesus Christ, God. God, we thank you for how you just continue to work. You continue to bless us. You continue to lift us. You continue to heal us, God. We thank you, God, for keeping us. Thank you for your keeping power, God. God, we just thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, God, and all that you're going to do in our lives. God, bless this service. Bless this time that we share with others, Father. Let your word go forth, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Let your spirit, God, just move and abide and touch hearts and minds, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray for deliverance. God, we pray for healing, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. God, have your way in our lives, God, in our hearts, God, and help us to ever walk closer to you, God, and to strive to do your will. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the blood. Um, I was thinking um, today um, the, uh, about the word reconciliation um, and how it means um, to bring things back together, make things one again. And for me, um, it's, a, it's a very interesting word. I was studying this this week and um, it's a word in the Greek, because um, I didn't know I was going to go ahead and sing about it just now. But uh, in the Greek, it's the word, um, I believe it's um, kalalasso uh, in the Greek. And, you know, since I didn't know I was going to come here this morning and start off with this, um, check me on it. But kalalasso, you might think about some a cowboy throwing a rope around somebody and bringing something back in. But uh, to be one with Christ is an amazing thing. If you think about it, the, the fact that you are one with Christ um, that ought to just floor you. It's a staggering thing to think about that you, little old you, um, and if I may add, little, you know, unsavory you, uh, you are one with Christ. Um, it's just amazing to think that God would um, would be one with us. You know, who are we? Uh, what is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visiteth him? But the fact that you're one with Christ. I was thinking this past week about some highlights. I was kind of missing church and uh, missing out physically, uh, missing the church gathering, you know, seeing you physically. We see you on Zoom so often, it's a blessing. And it's, um, but there's a dimension of physical fellowship that, you know, you can't quite catch on Zoom, even though it's good. Uh, and I was thinking about some highlights and going back over some things. And one of the highlights, for some reason, I thought about was uh, uh, Evangelist Tyler. Um, well, I hope she didn't mind me calling her name, but we were baptizing somebody last week and uh, last year. And uh, she said something to the person being baptized. I'll never forget. I happened to be standing right next to her, the lady as we took him down the precious name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. What a name. Mm -hmm. But if we were taking this person down in Jesus' name, she looked at her and told her, now, all that stuff, your old you, leave it on the other side of this water. Hallelujah. And it just blessed my soul. Uh, it, it's just like in a marriage. You know, you, you come down the aisle, you leave all your old boyfriends and all your old girlfriends on the other side of that ceremony. Amen. Anybody you dated, anybody you called, anybody you flirted with, anybody you had any interest in, it's all on the other side. Once you come down that aisle and say, I do, all that stuff is behind you. It's on the other side of that ceremony. And when we come to Christ, that old you needs to be left behind. Now, God's going to grow you in grace and teach you. But the Bible says the grace of God has appeared to all men, which brings salvation, has appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live wholly, soberly, righteously in this present world. So I thank God. I thank God that he positioned me to hear that testimony. Stay with me every since. Every that old you, leave it on the other side that's on of the water. And so being reconciled with Christ, that old you, the, the, the you that used to be angry, 
the you that used to couldn't forgive, the you that used to fly into a rage, you reconcile with Christ now. And that, that old you, let's crucify that flesh, crucify that old man, and let's truly be his bride. Amen? Amen. I know when, when I saw my wife coming down that aisle, if I had any thought, which I didn't, if I had any thoughts of this number, that number, oh, it just all melted away as my bride came toward me and consummated in my saying, I do, and her saying, I do. We're reconciled. We've been brought, made one in Christ. Let's, uh, let's cherish that. That is the highest honor. This God that spoke this whole universe into existence has bestowed upon us. John said it probably best. Behold what man of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we, we should be called the sons of God. Amen. So be reconciled. Uh, uh, is, uh, is a message I want to I leave this morning. Uh, be reconciled. Um, so we'll go to um, um, we'll go to Book of Ephesians, I guess. I'm, I'm, I almost want to stop there and reconcile. I guess y'all would say I shortchange if we did, but I, I just feel like that's enough. You know, just, just know that, that we're one with Christ. And uh, this will be my shortest message, but I'm going to stop right there. Be reconciled to God. We won't go to Ephesians today. It's going to be a short message. Saints, be reconciled to God. He's loved you. He's embraced you. He's called you with everlasting love. You're in his arms. Know that you're his and act like you're his. And cherish the fact that Christ shed his blood so you'll be reconciled to God and you're one in Christ. Now in Christ Jesus, those who are sometimes or all have been made nigh by the blood of Christ. Saints, let's live up. Let's cherish the fact that we've been reconciled to God and we're one with Christ. Now we're his and he is ours. God bless you. Short message, but it's Amen. a fact. Bless you. Amen.